it builds up inside of me and I just have to let it out. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman and today I'm going to talk about different fly fishing YouTube channels. This is the second video I've done on this topic and I know some of you are going to leave comments like, well, what about this channel or you forgot that channel? Before you leave that comment, maybe watch the first video and see if I've already talked about whoever it is that you want to hear about. And if I didn't talk about them in either video, I didn't forget them. I left them out on purpose just to make you mad. First, let's talk about my YouTube channel. Channel. Listen, I know it's not great. I am well aware that a 12 year old can make videos with better production quality and editing. I'm aware that my personality isn't for everyone. I know that. I try to make videos that are informative, educational, fun, and at least mildly entertaining. I also try to have a lot of variety. I think we're up to 46 different species of fish caught in this channel. That ain't bad. The last time I made a video like this, I got some heat for trashing other YouTubers while just sitting in my car. Well, first of all, I'll shoot videos wherever I want, and my car is a perfectly fine studio. Would this somehow be better if I was wearing waders? Fine. Secondly, yeah, I talk a lot of It's kind of my thing. If you can't handle me insulting someone on the internet, just click off this video right now and go fishing or something. I have respect for anyone that puts a fishing video out there. It takes balls. And to do it consistently and successfully takes a lot of work. I know that more than anyone. New video every Monday. Actually making something out of your fly fishing YouTube channel is a huge accomplishment. But that doesn't mean I can't tease a little bit. None of this is worth getting upset over. I'm gonna say some bad things about your favorite fly fishing YouTube channels. The point of this isn't to drag people through the mud, it's to inform you of my opinions and hopefully get a reaction from you. Maybe you'll LOL, maybe you'll leave me a nasty comment. Either one is fine, at least I'm making you feel something. As much as I want to spread positivity and take the high road all the time, that's not how life works. Some of the channels out there are real cringy to watch, giving you bad advice, or just straight up lying to you. I consider it my duty to call them out. Out. To help you understand my opinions, you should know what I like in a fly fishing YouTube channel. Our opinions are probably different, and that's okay. I like channels that are authentic and real. Some of the stuff out there right now is so contrived, it's ridiculous. If you're putting on an act, I'm going to see right through it. If you're advertising a product, be straight up about it. We all know a commercial when we see one. As I've said, I don't care about fancy cameras or editing. I want to watch people with personalities that I connect with, and I want to watch them do cool stuff or talk about something that interests me. You can film that on your phone and edit it with iMovie. But I will say that audio is important. If I can't hear you, because of wind or because you're not speaking loudly enough, I don't like it. Audio is hard for me too. I get it. That's why I just yell all the time. I like fly fishing channels that show more than just trout. There is so much other stuff out there. I want to see all of it. I don't like channels that are location specific, like fly fishing PA or driftless whatever. First of all, you're really limiting yourself there. And also I'm going to get bored real quick. I'm not interested in following your learning to fly fish journey. I want to watch someone that knows what they're doing. The sloppy casting that I see in videos is scary. You're going to cast like that and then give me casting advice? No, you're not because I've already clicked off the video. And this doesn't really fit in anywhere, but if I see another series called Chronicles or Diaries, I'm going to puke. All right, that setup was entirely too long, but I felt like I needed to lay a foundation. So let's get to it and talk about some fly fishing YouTube channels. We'll start with the one that was mentioned most in the comments of the other video I did. Hardman Fishing Adventures. Great numbers. They get tons of views. Real strong thumbnail game. Mostly chess cam, trout fishing, eye roll, I know. Cheesy voiceover intros on every video, and I know some people like that, but I don't. You're trout fishing in a creek 10 feet wide. I don't need to hear about how it's some kind of epic journey into the wilderness because it's not. You want to know why they weren't included in the other video I made? I'm sorry to tell you this, but Hardman is not a fly fishing channel and never will be. They're disqualified. Now we've got a lot to get through here, so we need to pick up the pace. Next, Trout Bitten. The YouTube channel is real similar to the podcast. Great information, but it's just trout. It's a little too nerdy for me, and the videos are twice as long as they should be. Again, half as long. 
Next, we'll go south, tripping on trout. I think fishermen from New Zealand have a skewed worldview of trout fishing. There's a disconnect between their idea of trout fishing and mine. I'm sure Alex is a great guy, but his videos aren't for me. The high energy feels a bit forced sometimes, and he doesn't post consistently, which is something that I like. Next up, Adam at Blue Line Co. I met Adam at a boat ramp once, and I'll just be honest, he wasn't friendly at all. And that's fine, you don't have to like me. I heard he had a falling out with Scotty from Wildfly. I don't know if that's true, and it's certainly none of my business, but if it's true, Adam, hit me up. We can swap stories. Next, tight loops. Oh, you have an adventure van and a fancy camera? Yeah, I'm out. At least they have a chick to mix things up a bit. How about Rolf Nylander? This dude rocks. Fishing videos that aren't really about fishing is tough to pull off. Using fishing as a backdrop to talk about deeper, more meaningful stuff sounds like something I would rant about, but Rolf, you're killing it. I love it. Next one, Phelps on the fly. Another bro with another van. Just missing in the mustache. I think this dude should switch to surfing videos. Moving on, Red's Fly Shop. If you like your information delivered in a straightforward manner with zero personality, check them out. Next one, the slide in with Kelly Gallup or Galoop if you're new. It's common knowledge that Kelly's the man and it's a running joke that his videos are way too long. Kelly's cool and all, but I will say that I don't agree with his whole they're gonna eat it or they're gonna wear it thing with streamer fishing. You don't snag fish in streamer fishing. They can eat it or they can wear it. Their choice, Their though. choice. I prefer to hook my fish fairly in the mouth, but that's me. Next one, Rio Products. Wait, Rio has a fly fishing channel? How is Farbank still in business? Their customer service and overall reputation is garbage these days. But best of luck to you. Next fly fishing YouTube channel, Hank Patterson. When I first started down this path or whatever you want to call it, I got compared to Hank Patterson a lot. And it's a bad comparison. Hank's videos are purely satire. It's all a joke, all of it. Yes, I make jokes too, but that's just to lighten the mood a bit. Hank Patterson is not a person. He's a character played by a guy named Travis. I spoke with Travis on the phone once, and we talked about a lot of stuff, but you wanna know what sticks out most to me? Travis rarely drinks beer, which is fine, but the beers in his videos are all stunt beers. Sorry if I just ruined Hank Patterson for you, but it's all an act. Next one, The New Fly Fisher. This is a Canadian TV show about fly fishing and they put stuff on YouTube. It very much follows the formula of fly fishing TV show, if you're into that. They go to cool places, they fish with our boy Tom, but when I'm watching, it just feels dull. And it's not even the Canadianness of it, it's just so white. Okay, let's do another TV show, Fly Rod Chronicles with Curtis Fleming. Dude, if you wanna hate watch something for a few minutes, try this one. It's basically just Curtis taking his family on exotic fishing trips and it is so bad. It's completely staged, no one is a talented angler, and why does Curtis talk so slow? If it's a medical condition, I apologize, but you might wanna try watching him on two times speed. Okay, enough with the negativity, right? Let's give a few shout outs, YouTube channels that I want to tell you about. We'll start with Comedians on the Fly, which is really a series on my friend Elon Stribling's YouTube channel. Elon is a comedian and he takes other comedians fishing. I like it because it's funny. Next one. Flyfish Dan. Dan is an active member of the community over on my website and has been a supporter for a long time. So I wanted to throw him a bone here. He posts a lot, check it out. We'll finish up here with a channel called Kevin Rapcoke Fishing. It's not entirely fly fishing. I will give him a pass on that. And his fly fishing needs some improvement, which I'm sure he's aware of, but I just like the vibe of his videos. He seems like a chill dude that's just happy to be out fishing. So check out his channel and show him some love. And that's gonna do it for episode episode two of Fly Fishing YouTuber Review. I'm sure some of you will have opinions about the stuff I just said, so go ahead and leave a comment. People are just dying to know what you think. Thank you as always for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos. I will be back as soon as I can with another video about fly fishing for you. Until then, if you see trash, pick it up and stay huge. I think Phil Monahan from Orvis is probably more qualified than I am to make this video, but there's no way he'd go on record about this stuff.